In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create multi-purpose PowerPoint template that can be used for variety of reasons like timelines or showing options or uh, different purposes uh, depending on your uh, requirement. And uh, this has been done with the help of the MOF transition. And let me just show you how the slide works. As you can see here, I've created this kind of a, a volume knob. You can see here, I've just put the percentage here, 10, 20, 30 till 90%. Maybe you can use this uh, slide as a sales because currently a lot of White Friday, Black Friday, so many Friday sales are, are going on. So you can see here, if it is a 10%, what is that your, your title can be added here and the icon and then the detailed text, it can be added there. And when I click, it will move the knob will turn it will move okay it goes to 20 percent and 20 percent will be highlighted and the text will be uh, displayed there so let me just show you when i click you can see here it goes to 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent 50 60 70 80 and 90 like this you can either you can create as i said for the uh, timeline also a different way of using the timeline also can be are done and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it now and enable the bell notification as well as like and share my channel powerpoint university and if you like to support my channel you can do it through a paypal or a patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes, I'm going to select the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key, depending on your requirement, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline, then align center, align middle, then I'm going to give a gradient fill for that, right mouse click, go to format shape and select gradient fill. By default, there will be four stops, but uh, the last time I have used, that's the reason it's showing only three. So now the type, I'm going to select a uh, linear. You can see here and anything which you can select, maybe this one, uh, bottom right to top left. And then here, the first stop, I'm going to give some darker color. You can see here. The other one, I'm going to add one more stop where I'm going to use some white. And here, I'm going to use again some dark color and here again you can use a more darker color so something like this so again you can just adjust it according to the requirement now once this is done i'm going to add one more oval shape by pressing ctrl d to duplicate this one you can see here and hold the shift key reduce the size and then i'm going to give one more uh, i mean different types of gradient fill maybe i can just select the radial here you can see here and you can just select uh, from the direction anything here and then i'm just going to delete all these whites i don't need only i need something like this you can see here or the darker should be outside and something like this and then again this one align center align middle so it gives you a kind of a 3d look here now if you want to do additional uh, options also that also can be done additional gradient fill again i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and from the type i'm going to select the path you can see here or the rectangle better to select the rectangle and then you can increase the rectangle size something like this you can see here and the other one you can make it fully transparent all right so this one looks something like this or i can just make this as a white color also and make it somewhat transparent and just put it here so you got this kind of a shiny look here so again i'm going to select both of these you can see here both of these and group it let me just select again you can see here not the outside only inside and group it so it becomes one object and then you can add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape you can see here i'm just going to click it here one here one here and then i'm just going to attach this shape outline make it no outline and again gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use a linear you can see here and this side i'm going to give a black color and make sure the black color is on the top and here i can give a white color or any color which is at the background and increase the transparency 
all right and then just send this to back so you can see here a shadow effect has been created now i'm going to add uh, some lines here for that go to insert shapes scroll it down and from the stars and banners i'm going to select the 24 points you can see here just draw a circle like this by holding the shift key and then you can see a small orange point drag it inside and then shape outline you can give it as a gray color all right and then just increase the size further again align center align middle let me just reduce the size you can see here maybe this much size is okay and then send this to back so you can see a lines created like this and i'm going to add one more where uh, with a different color or any other color i can use maybe i can use some a good background color you can see here a gradient fill also i'm going to use and this time i'm going to select a radial and again from the center something like this and here i'm just going to use some gray color and here i'm going to use some dark color you can see here this is not uh, looking good so again i'm going to select this instead of white i'm going to choose the background color all right and then remove the transparency effect so it looks something like this okay do something like this and this one also i can just give a somewhat so instead of white let me just give some light color so it looks something like this and then i'm going to add one more go to insert shapes now this time i'm going to add only 12 points banner here can you see here again hold the shift key draw a star again drag this down and this time shape outline i'm going to make it white color again hold the shift key increase the size again align center align middle and then you can just rotate it something like this it looks in between like this and then send this to back so you can see here the design looks something like this or if you want to change instead of white you can change some other color also now it's time to add uh, the numbers here either you can use the percentage or year or anything for example let me just uh, do this as a timeline so i'm going to start with the year maybe just say 1995 you can see here and i'm going to use the color which is the dark red and i'm going to use the font which is century gothic make it bold increase the size right aligned and put it here like this all right and then go to insert you can add some detailed text all right so i'm just going to make it a gray color or any other color which you feel better you can add that reduce the size and just attach it here so you can see here so this is the for 1995 and then i'm going to add one pointer here for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm selecting this triangle draw a small triangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it dark color and then bring it here and just rotate it with the help of this arrow you can see here and put it here and this one i'm going to select and bring this to front so it looks something like this you can see here and here you can add your title if you want so let it be like this let me just remove the guides so we can do it design properly so this is my first slide now what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this and before doing that one if you are using the latest version of powerpoint you can simply go and click the icons to download it but i'm not going to do that one so let me just duplicate this slide now you can see i have duplicated and then i can go to the transition click on the morph you can see here the morph and then you can reduce the size the duration to maybe one second and then i'm just selecting this and bringing it top here like this you can see here something like this and then this one also i'm just going to move it here rotate it properly and this also i can just rotate it something like this some kind of a so if i play you see here when i click it comes like this you can see here it is rotating so likewise so this is 1995 maybe this is 2000 now so again press ctrl d to duplicate this one again i'm moving it on the top 
can see here so this will be 2005 would be and again select this move it you can see here something like this you can do it make sure that it is properly aligned otherwise it won't look good so if you want we can increase the size also and then you can just put it in the right position here so like this you can do it and this one i'm just rotating again you can see here so again let me just show you when i click so this is 2000 and again 2005 so like this you can just again duplicate this and then you can just move one by one like this again this i can make it a uh, right aligned you can see here and then i can make this as maybe 2009 and again move this again rotate it and this also i'll just rotate it a little bit like this so that it gives a realistic uh, a rotating effect so like this you can do the remaining things or if you want you can just add the text also here and then you can just change it for example i can do one thing i can just make it for example this is 2000 this way also it can be done so i'm just making it 2000 and again i'm going to use the font century gothic make it bold this dark color i'm going to use it i mean the gray color like this you can see here like this also you can just add one by one before so this could be 2009 2005 so whichever way you feel better you can just add the text like that and then you can move slowly one by one whichever way possible so it's up to you whichever way you want you can do it but you have to make sure that the transition is uh, there and this transition is available only in the latest version of powerpoint in 2019 and office 365 if you're using older version like 2007 2010 or 2013 and 16 this particular feature is not available